We are back and joining me now is someone that's no stranger to the slopes. We have Justin Melby with us. And although he's from Australia, he did train just north of here in Steamboat when you were training with the Australian freestyle team. Yeah, well, we're training with the Australian freestyle team, but all the US ski team under Park Smalley, uh freestyle team, we were training there at Winter Sports Club. And uh, that was where our, our bumps and house and hill, we do our aerial training. But now, now I'm working for Vail Resort, so I'm, I'm here for the last six, seven years too. Yeah, yeah, you've been here at this event many years in a row. Yeah, and eight, uh, eight years. Okay. Think, yeah. And the weather a little different than yesterday, huh? I know. It was beautiful sunshine. Everyone said it's spring, daylight saving. Now it's like, you know. All right. But you guys are tough stuff. You can handle it. Yeah. Now let's talk about what you were doing leading up to this point. You were busy in Vancouver, all over Canada, sure. prepping the audience in Australia for what's going on at the Olympics. Yeah, um, I was hosting all the uh, Winter Olympic venues up in Whistler, Blackcomb, Vancouver. Um, I had a show out in Fox in Australia, and Fox was our network that brought the Winter Olympic Games to Australia. And because not many people think we have snow, but we've got a lot of snow down there. Not this, not just the Jamaican bobsled team, all right? <laughs> we have pleased, so we came second in the moguls. We went on the Olympic uh, silver medal and tore a bright with the, with, in the half pipe. And uh, I mean, we did really, really, really well. So I was hosting all the venues, teaching all the Australian people how to get into the spirit of Olympic Games yeah. and winter and skiing and it was awesome. Is it hard to watch it down there because it's the time difference or do they just put it on prime time no matter what time of day? It, it is hard to watch it. I mean, the network I worked for, Fox, it, it had uh, four TV stations, four, four channels and it showed 24 hours a day. Wow. And then we had it on the one channel which showed the highlights. But, you know, we're, it's middle of summer there and we're, we're watching people skiing so it's like, it's hard. It is hard. <laughs> I forget it's middle of summer. Did you yeah. have to dig this out of the closet? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I had to get the cobwebs out. Now, I've, I've been out here for a few weeks now because I work, the, um, I'm the Australian ambassador for Vale Resort, so I do a lot for Vale and uh, come to the Classic and promote skiing to Australia and fit in a bit of TV if I can yeah. along the way. Now, tell us about The Phone. When yeah. we talked to you last year, you were just starting that up. Yeah, I was doing a TV show called The Phone, which is like the Amazing Race meets Born Identity. It's a Justin Timberlake did the version. His production company did it for MTV here in America, and um, and it was just a you know people have mental and physical challenges and they got to win money at the end and they got to strategize to get to the next uh, to the next location and they got hints and it's a it's a fast fun show. Okay, all right. Well, hey, good luck out there, and we're glad that you're working with Van Resort, yeah. spreading the love down under. That, that's right. Awesome. Okay, okay perfect. Thank Justin you. Melvey, he's here every year. We'll be right back.